Hello, and welcome to another Om Nom Cons. I'm your captain, Matthew. Matthew, <laughs> with the accent. And we're going to set sail for fun. Oh, that was horrible. <laughs> Shut up. We're still continuing. Yeah, we don't have a choice here. Uh, this is Portal 2, part whatever. Seven or six. I kind of forgot. Seven. This is seven. Hi. Right. Yeah, we messed up on numbering them, so we're kind of iffy whenever we record it. Of course. You just had to look at the turret photo it's dead. Yep. Um, we are outside of the test chambers if you haven't seen the last episode. And we're on a mission with Wheatley to uh, destroy glass. What really annoys me in this game is that there just seems to be a lack of buttons you can press. You just wanted more buttons. What do you that, mean? Right? Yeah, I just wanted more buttons. But not the, not the buttons where you had to put blocks on because you had to find blocks for those. Uh. We're trying to get rid of the neurotoxin right now, so that's what I'm doing. We're trying to get rid of. We've already we just sabotaged the turrets by putting in faulty ones, and now we're putting in uh, yeah, destroying yeah. the neurotoxin. Yeah. What's that sign say right there? Which uh, oh, looks like we'll never know now. You think the uh, the amount of neurotoxin that can be held in here, it would all be spewing out, and it would just fill this chamber, and you would die. But somehow it's not. You're still alive. Unless you're like. Catterizing the holes when you laser them. Swarm, uh, where but where exactly did that laser come from? I wasn't uh, aware that you ever shot any. It was, it was back there where the turrets were dying. Um, really? Yeah. But there's actually a thing where uh, if you if you don't turn them off, like if you do something special, what you can do is um, you can just listen to Wheatley talking in that room mm -hmm. and giving encouraging stuff, and eventually though. He'll just start saying really crazy stuff. And I think he like talks up like this space corn during one part. I don't remember. I think that's true. I haven't done it. Yeah, we're going to tunnels. Tour. I can't believe I'm finally doing this. Can't believe I'm finally doing this. That'd be so cool. I knew this would be fun. That, they told me it wasn't fun at all for this year. Not fun at all. I believe you. I thought it was fun for this year. The sharp turns. We would just run into those little bridges. That hurt. I have a feeling it'd be like. This place is huge. Don't you think this is disorienting <laughs> enough? I mean, you have to spin the camera on top of that. You spin. Yes, but you're not spinning. I'm having a little rage. Yes, I gotta look at everything. I gotta look at everything. Well, considering you're a person that hasn't seen the surface for like, what is it like? Someone can't even out nine, 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 nine days. Um, yeah, but that's not the surface. It's just the rest of Aperture Factory. I know, but it's still kind of cool to spin around in the thing. Like, was... D don't tell me you, would, you wouldn't be doing front flips in that. I wouldn't have room. If that was possible. Oh. I, would, I still wouldn't have room. Of course. I, I hit my head. Well, she's a girl. She's flexible. She still hit her head. Her hair would cushion the ball. Her head, not the ball. But yeah, Woo. I don't really see why they did this. Oh wait, never mind. I remember. I just missed it. I get a little stuck right here. I realize. Da da da. Oh wait, there's a little that, white platform it, right there. I'll make a reference every once in a while to the cake dispensary because of this door. It says uh, something, something, something. A cake dispensary. So in a bunch of and in, in a bunch of recordings. I like to say this, because, I don't know. Da, da, da. Oh. I truly didn't think you'd fall for that. Yeah, I didn't think you'd fall for that either. Well, it's not like I have a choice. No. I like how they code where you can't, like, have portals there. So you can't, like, set off with yourself. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no, it's a toilet! <laughs> I, no, this isn't the old one. I thought this was the old test chamber in the beginning, but that was right. Oh yeah, I'm going. How'd you get on top of the toilet? You jumped. No, as in you, the room was dark and somehow, how did you manage to see the toilet? Oh, I'm awesome. The faulty turrets see you can see. Ah, crap turrets! Burn. Uh, 
apparently in this well, in this uh this scene right here in there's a in the pc version you can go in the third person and if you watch the scene in third person it's weird it's your old like your your animation for your character is weird what are you doing i i haven't i've seen at all well, it's been so long i haven't really remembered well then again none of us have the pc version hey it's weekly i hate you so much Ezra does. Central Core is 80% corrupt. That's oh yeah. It says he has a PC code. version. Mm -hmm. But he only has mods for... He only knows mods for first one. Oh, I wish they had like that toilet where um, you threw all the... Um, you know, this is where I have some fun. Oh, you are kidding me. <laughs> trying to like do it the same way you beat Portal 1, try to shove on the, you know... No. Have you seen... Have you played Portal 1? I think that's a little bit of it. Oh yeah, you got the demo, but you're too lazy to buy the game. I don't wanna, I don't wanna buy a game, no. Don't listen to her, do it. Do it. Uh yeah. Oh, we're so close, plug me in. I don't know, I just wanna hear what he says because I didn't do it the first time. So I just kinda walk around, sorry, I got this. Come on, stop mucking around, plug me in. It's just it's just over, you know, plug it in, don't plug it in. Mucking around. Oh, what can we do with me? I know. Plug me into the port, please. British guys, I guess. Substitute core and exactly. Well, so of our friends, it wouldn't be Are mucking. Are you ready to start the procedure? Yes. Corrupted core. Are you ready to start the procedure? No. Oh, yes, she is. <laughs> no. 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 Stalemate detected. Is this the one where she goes in a high voice? Yes. I think so. Unless a stalemate associate is present to press the stalemate resolution button. The, weird, the most unnerving part of my glad is his voice. Is sometimes it's just auto tune. It is auto tune. I know, like the whole thing. You don't know what it's a button. It took me a while to do this for some reason. Well, it's my first time. And then I'm just kind of showing y'all what to do. I'm showing y'all that. Like, you know. I thought you were just messing up. See? It seems like there's no way to do this. Impersonating a stalemate associate. I just added that to the one on top. It's a list no. I made of oh, all the things I've like. done. Well, it's a list that I am making. All you do is you confuse the panel. Right now, even though I'm telling you to stop. Stop, by the way. Go. What are you doing? I'm, I'm reading the dialogue at this point. Alright, this. And... Uh, and then please return to the core transfer bay. I I don't know. Wait, what Here if I this know. hurts? What if this really hurts? Oh, I didn't think of that. Oh, it will. Believe me, it will. Are you are you just saying that, or is it really gonna hurt? You're just saying that, or you, you're just no, you're not. You are. It is gonna hurt, isn't it? Exactly. How painful are we? Ah! <laughs> no. Yeah, this is the high voice part. And we effectively, effectively, pretty much killed Gladys for the moment. This mo this room looks a lot like the uh, the original chamber. Oh, achievement stalemate associate. Associate. Yeah, I mean the challenges. I mean the achievements in Portal aren't really too hard to get. You just beat the game, and you basically have almost everything. No, except for Overclocker. No, you get a bunch. There's a bunch of side achievements. There's just some, like, progression. Yeah, but they're not really hard to get. Skyrim, you get out of the first cave, and you get an achievement. Yeah, but, like, trying to trying to get the Thieves Guild back to its former glory takes forever. Is that a certain path? Look, it's Wheelie. Duh, we just completely ignored this one. Hey, it's a bunch of cubes. Wait, wait, what type of cube is that? Okay. No, it's not. And <laughs> he just spoke Spanish. This body's amazing, yeah. seriously. I can't get over how small you are. <sighs> I don't see what's holding his helmet together. Oh, maniacal laugh. This part to me was really epic. Because I was thinking to myself while playing it, before Wheatley gets into the body, I was like, is this the end? Are you kidding me? And then this happened. I was like, oh, "This is awesome!" She did all the work. Totally, dude. Yeah, plot twist. 
I'm not going into the old abandoned part. You have, you can't like, no one can say though that they did not voice this well. They voiced this incredibly, especially with like the 20,000 pieces of dialogue they had for this game. And how like, nearly half of them you're never going to hear. Unless you seek them out. It's like and Gladys gets turned into... I like how they have those eyes on the panels. A potato. That is a potato oh yeah, there's a... I found out recently... <clears throat> there's a... They were planning to have a fourth gel. Mm -hmm. And it was kind of like purple. And it's it's modeled off the game that like... Was originally from... Like that portal was originally based off, they say. It's called Tag. And it's like where you have paint. And what do you do is you shoot it. Like, shoot it out of a wall. Like, you jump at the wall, you can walk on the wall and the ceiling and stuff. And they were gonna put that on there. But, um... But the gel, like, to test it apparently was too disorienting and stuff. So they didn't, but... In a certain mod, like, Thunder... Thunder, like, Hammer or something. In a certain mod thing, it's available. But I don't think it has the, the walking ability. But it's got the... It's called Tag or something. And it's purple. And I think someone got it working on. Completely, completely ignoring the scene. It's Gladys. Potato. I wish you could pick her up at that time. That'd be cool. Yeah. And just throw her against the wall. Yeah. Potatoes healthy for you? Uh, generally yes. They're supposed to be like really, really healthy. Along with sweet potatoes and. Uh, Not the way. I eat potatoes. Core. I eat potatoes. Potatoes. Thumbs. Oh, oh good. I don't I know how you survived this fall. I mean. Oh, you good? have uh, stabilizing boots. Boots. Stabilizing boots? You never saw that? No. Uh, they have like. The, the, they released the thing. It's like one of the trailers for Portal 2. It shows. I forgot what they're called, but they're boots that you wear and you can survive pretty much any fall and you always upright yourself. Oh, cool. That's yeah, why she, she talks she talks about putting you in one of her boot on one of your boots. So she will she will survive the fall too. It's coming up soon. Oh, by the way, yep, super moron. Oh, <laughs> uh, I forgot. Oh yeah. In Skyrim, that did. Uh, okay. You know how you can pick out Wheatley in the PC mod? Um, don't have to. Oh, yeah. not Wheatley, but the Space, the space core. core. Yeah. He fall from the sky, but um, a guy found that you put it in some altar or something. Uh -huh. With moon rocks and stuff. Yeah. And what you do is, you know the Iron Helmet that's really famous in Skyrim? Yeah. Uh, well, actually, you can make the Iron Helmet, you, you can wear the Space Core as a helmet <laughs> with the Iron or <laughs> the iron helmet horn sticking out. It's really cool. And that's the end. So yeah, um... Watch our other recordings. Please! No. Uh, like and subscribe with the Om Nam Kongs. Peace!